just a click on your phone or your iPad, you know, which, which for me, I don't believe in. I'm an old school guy, but uh, still, I, I, I enjoy technology, but not into that extent. The convenience factor of not having to go out, you get to stay in, in your house, and Uber Eats runs a lot of specials like free delivery and 15% off, so you're not really losing any money. bad weather out, usually then people order Skip or Uber because they don't want to have to go out. They'd rather order the food and have someone bring it to them. And the lights are on, the staff are there, the people are in the kitchen, the food's in the fridge. Why wouldn't you want to add incremental sales to your daily totals for putting food in a box and having a courier pick it up? For me, if you're serving good things and good food and we wanted to know where it goes and who is enjoying it and how, how they will treat the food and things like that. So that is why I am hesitant to do that. You have sometimes, you look outside and you see a big lineup but you have twice the amount of orders. That can sometimes be difficult but it brings in a lot of sales. Uber isn't bad, they're pretty quick at coming to pick it up when you say it's ready, whereas Skip like I said, there's a huge time thing going on. Sometimes it goes down to 10 minutes for us to have the food prepared, and then it goes back up to half an hour. Sometimes they're overwhelmed, and food delivery is slow. Other than that, it's a great service. <laughs>